Good morning and happy Sunday. Hey, as the summer winds down, you know what that means. We're headed back to school, a time that can be both exciting and a bit stressful for students and parents alike. So I wanted to give you some important mental health tips to help us all navigate this transition a little bit more smoothly. One is about communication. Whether you're a student, parent, or teacher, open and honest communication can make all the difference. We wanna talk about our concerns, anxieties, and even expectations. So we don't wanna be afraid to ask for help or let someone know if we're feeling a bit overwhelmed. And when everyone's on the same page, it's a lot easier to tackle these challenges together. I also wanna reach out to the parents. It's way more effective if you ask what happened in your day to your child as opposed to how was school today? The next one is establishing a routine. Uh, consistency is the most powerful tool for managing any kind of stress. So a regular schedule provides a sense of stability and helps your body and mind adjust to new demands. So you can start with simple things like consistent bedtime or designated study times or even regular meal times. A solid routine can create a calming rhythm in your daily life. The next one, most certainly we want to prepare, prepare, prepare as much as we can. It's a great way to reduce our stress, uh, whether it's organizing school supplies or clothes or meals or even setting up a study space. Taking care of these tasks ahead of time can ease the back to school transition. So the more prepared you are, the less anxious we always feel. The other thing has to do a lot with COVID, even more now than ever. Encourage in-person in social interactions. And so it's crucial to reconnect with friends and classmates and in-person interactions can help you build strong relationships, which are essential for emotional support and mental well-being. We want to encourage our students to join clubs, participate in group activities, even spend time with friends outside of school. Remember, less of this and more interaction. Let's talk about stress. It's a natural part of our life. Not all stress is bad, especially during transitions like going back to school. So instead of avoiding the stressful situations, try leaning into them. Find ways to identify what's causing your stress and face it head on. Just so you know, every behavioral tool for anxiety that's out there today is all about exposure to the identified stressor. So run towards, not away from the stress. Actually, when we run away from the stress, it increases the stress and makes it tons worse. But if the stress becomes overwhelming, stop. Maybe take a step back and breathe. If that doesn't work, don't hesitate to seek support from your teachers, counselors, or other mental health professionals. And confronting these issues directly can motivate you to improve and adapt, and most importantly, lead to growth and resilience. By doing so, we can make this school year a positive and successful experience for everyone involved. And in the upcoming weeks, we'll be launching a new show called First Response with Dr. Shannon. This show is dedicated to the first response to our mental health, addressing challenges, barriers, and offering real suggestions and solutions. So keep your eye out for the weekly episodes here on KFES 12, YouTube, and anywhere you get your podcast. And always remember, you are worth it. You got this. Lean into being the best version of yourself and keep those questions coming. For more information and resources, visit our website. Happy Sunday.